Hey everybody, it's Lisa Twyla's mom and today is July 4th, 2017. Happy 4th of July everybody, woo! <laughs> um, on July 3rd, Monday, my sister and me and my mom and Twyla, we all went to the city and did some shopping. So, I'm going to get on here, show you my videos, and I may not put them all out at once. I'll kind of scatter them, you know, within the next couple of days. But, I thought I would share with you the things that I found in the different places we went. Because, we live maybe about an hour and a half from all the great craft stores and places like that. Like Michael's and Tuesday morning and um, well like this video is going to be an old pottery barn now you know so whenever I do them when I do these hauls they are big hauls because we don't go up there I haven't been to Michael's in Been almost a year yes it has I don't even think I've ordered anything online for months so it's been a long time and old pottery barn this video is old pottery barn it is the same way now old pottery barn isn't really a craft store it's um, mainly home decor um, outdoor decor um, and home and um, it does have like um, artificial flowers it's almost what I would explain how you the people on the East Coast have an Ollie's it's a little like that but Ollie's is I've heard Ollie's is much better oh yeah I would love to have an Ollie's here my sister lives in South Carolina and she just loves Ollie's um, but it's they have a little bit of a craft section um, just enough to you know make me happy <laughs> but it's just a cool place to go they do have a website and you can look on well I'll just go ahead and show you the website right now Let's see if you guys can make that out it's www.oldtimepottery.com right there on the back now I'm not I think you can order online from old time pottery I think you'd have to check but it is it is I think primarily here in the Midwest um, but yeah go ahead check out their website and see if you can order but it's almost like a a big lots on steroids it's a big store <laughs> I'm not sure though, 100% sure if you can order online. And if you can order online, it may strictly be like home decor. You know, no crafty things, no school supplies, no book bags, things like that. But go and check them out if you're interested. So I'm going to show you what I did find at Old Time Pottery. Um, the first thing, as soon as we walked in the door, we found some beautiful, beautiful shopping bags. We call them tote bags, but they're actually shopping bags because tote bags, to me, you would be able to use them for ever, you know, before they started showing a lot of wear. And these plastic type shopping bags, they do get wore out. They do, and probably you know seven eight months with regular use you need to probably get new ones but when we first walked in the door we found some really pretty um shopping bags and they were only a dollar so i picked up this first one and they are big see big and they just got the, the you know the cloth thing and they were only one dollar but they are nice and big and yeah so I picked up this one with the butterfly and then I picked up 
this one with the tote or the tote the flip flops and like I said they are huge just huge so I picked that one up and then I also picked up this one don't forget to make today awesome and they've got the logo of the store in there so those I got there. I only picked up three because we had went to Tuesday morning and I had picked up a few there also. Okay, so let's move on to the other things I found. <laughs> now I found this posh coloring book. It's in vintage designs for fun and relaxation. It reminds me of a composition book. And it's just got some wonderful designs in here. And it is about the size of a composition book. I don't think you can take out the pages, though. I, the pages are not perforated, so you would have to be very careful with what you... Oh, look at that one. With what you use to color. And they are double-sided. Um, not sure how many pages are in here, but I want to say at least 100. At least. And I paid $1.99 for this. But I bet you could find them most anywhere. Because here is the UPC code. And they were $12.99 in the U.S. And they had, very, uh, they had like Japanese designs. They had, oh, what do you call it? I can't ever I can't ever pronounce it and everyone someone always corrects me but the the mandolins whatever they're called <laughs> you know? but I did pick up this one I could have went crazy they had probably 80 different coloring books ranging in price from one dollar up to twenty five dollars oh yes they were nice coloring books so I got that one then I found some stickers for a dollar um, 49 and they've got these on them and they are a little bit of a 3d I don't know if you guys can see that I'm probably not but they are you know like a 3d effect and um, they're pretty big I mean like look at my hand so yeah so pick that one up for $1.49 and these are by K and Company, a good name brand. Uh, then I found these stickers. Now this is from Hampton Art. Um, it is a sticker flip pack, and it was a dollar twenty nine. And you get one, two, three, four pages on this. You get, oh, get the glare out of there. And there's the sticker code. But you get the studs. You get some words in there. Then on this page, you get these. And then you get this one. Now, I don't have any, well, I have a couple of little black, you know, primarily black stickers, but my favorite color is black. So when I saw these, you know I had to get them. And now I probably will use them sparingly because <laughs> it's my only pack <laughs> I don't know why I didn't pick up two packs because those that are at a dollar 29 were a good price then we got this set here from K and company they were a dollar 49 and it's just got square different square um, stickers in here with the different words and what all pretty big pretty big and it's got like lucky to have you things I love about you beautiful once upon a time just you know different little sentiments so got that one and I think oh no and then I found this for $4.99 and it is by Melissa and Doug and it's called sweet treats sticker pad and let me see yeah let me get this and I'll open it because it's all wrapped up in plastic I don't know why I didn't think to do this before I got on here but 
I didn't. And I just love this sticker pad. Um, I think my sister got one, or my mom. If it wasn't my sister, it was my mom. My mom may have picked up one. Um, but for $5, well, $4.99, for 500 stickers, that was a good deal, in my opinion. And I'm gonna just rip this thing all up if I'm not careful. It's hard to get it off when they're all wrapped up in plastic. Oh my goodness. But they had one that was opened already, so I had to look at it. When I saw it, it was like, yep, that's what I need. And it reminds me of the paper pads, except this is strictly... Well, no, it does have some paper in it. I did not know that. It says it's a sticker pad, but I don't recall... Like here, this sheet right here is paper. That one is paper. I did not realize that it had all this paper. Oh my word, I'm so happy I picked these up. This one's ice cream paper. Oh, look at this one. I think it's like a paper pad that you can decorate. Kids can decorate the paper pad with the stickers. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. I did not realize that these were all paper. Oh, look at this one. Oh my gosh. So this first half of the book, right here, this first half is nothing but these papers. That's cute. I didn't realize it was that. But then you've got all these toppings that you can add to that paper. Like these are all stickers, but it's like toppings for ice cream and cupcakes. And you know, these, I had just flipped, you know, just kind of flipped through it. I hadn't noticed that they had that, that paper there. And here's the cookie. Oh, what's on the next one? Oh, more ice cream. These are all stickers here, but the first part of the book is paper. Oh, look at these guys. Oh, wow. We were pleasantly surprised, weren't we? <laughs> that is cool. I thought they were all stickers. But here, here is that, the backing that they had on the packaging. Shoot, you could even cut out the, the little squares in here and use them for something. Oh my gosh, I'm saving that. That is, that, in my opinion, this was well worth the $5. <coughs> so here is that, in case you want to look on Amazon or something and try to find it. Yeah, I like that. That was well worth $5. And, yeah, let me get my thing, because I did get a couple of paper pads there. Um, they had a lot... The last time I went there with my sister, which, if I remember right, it was same time this year, or same time last year that it is this year, but I can't be sure. I, can't, I cannot be sure about that, but it's been a while since I've been there, and they didn't have very many paper pads back then, but this time they had quite a few. I don't need paper, so I only chose two very unique pa uh, pads of paper that I don't have yet and the first one I got is 24 sheets it's by DCWV and it's two dollars it costs two dollars for this but it is a touch of foil and oh it is so pretty let's see if I can do this that kind of hurts my hands a little bit but all the pages have they're the foil uh, what's it called? Embossed. That one is so pretty. Look at that. You see the shine on that? Oh, that's gorgeous. Um, so yeah, I did get this one. And we only found two of these that they had left. So I got one and my sister got one. We tried to find my mom one, but she said, nah, she was okay with that. But these 
or butterflies. If they'd had a big stack of these, I probably would have gotten probably two packs of them because these are just so cute. But they only had the two packs, so I had to share. Yeah. <laughs> then the very last paper pad I got, which I'm trying, I want to get the little tabs off of it because they put these tabs on here. I understand why to protect, you know, these little sticky things, to protect your paper pads before, you know, while they're getting shuffled around, people are looking through them and stuff. So I understand why, but they are kind of annoying, aren't they? <laughs> but this one is called Glam Rock. Um, it's by DCWV, and um, it's got half of the pages half foil. And it is a 12 by 12 pack. And this is that right there. And they kind of give you a little thing there. But let's see if I can go through this. It reminds me of Teenage. Like here's the speaker. And the speaker is foiled. Then you got the paint splatter. Here's some stars. And I don't have anything like this. There's the skulls. Oops, I think we missed a few. Skulls, that one. You, how do people do this? You know, skulls, that one. The guitars, the record player. Aren't those cool? If you had a layout for maybe a teenage boy or even a girl, these would be wonderful. Oh, I love that one. Love that one. Um, but yeah, these were, would be great for a teenager or a, a young adult, you know, like in their early 20s, I think it would even work. If you had like a... And... These are like little cutouts in the back that you can use. So yeah, I think that would be great, you know, for like a, a layout or a birthday party for a teenager or a young adult. So yeah, I loved it. I They had lots of these and I really, but they were $7.99. Forgot to tell you the price. Sorry guys. Or $6.99. If these had been five dollars or less I would probably would have picked up two or three of them because these I love this this stuff here you could use this for most for a lot of things um, but sadly they were seven dollars <laughs> so I only picked up the one um, but yeah that is my old-time pottery um, haul. <laughs> I do not need any more dishes. I don't need any more sheets. I don't need any more decor for my walls. Um, don't need sofa pillows. We do not use sofa pillows. Um, don't need blankets. Don't need towels. You know, so, and I don't, I'm not an outdoor person, so we don't even have patio furniture. Um, we just have the portable fold up lawn chairs for when we do happen to go outside. <laughs> We're not outdoor people, I'm sorry. But this store is primarily that, that sort of thing. Um, but, you know, like I said, they do have a few crafty things. So that's what I got there. Um, and yeah, so maybe you guys could check out the website, see if it's a store you enjoy. I've never ordered online, so don't take my word that you can find crafty things on that website. It, it may just be the basic things that they sell um, or their sales ads. It may just be that type of website. Like Tuesday morning, they'll have like a, their website will show you know, there's sales ad. Yeah. Um, but you, you can't order on their website. Yeah. You can just find a store, see what's on sale. And there you go. So I, you know, check it out, but, <laughs> <laughs> but 
But you know what? This uh, little bitty haul turned into a 20 minute video because I just cannot quit chatting. Yeah. <laughs> and yes, I am wearing the same clothes um, in the rest of my videos. So don't be alarmed. I'm just going to get all my haul videos done so that um, I can put my things away and enjoy the rest of my 4th of July. Yeah. So I will talk to you guys in a little while with another shopping haul. <laughs> okay, everybody, don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up, and leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from each and every one of you. I found Bye. You in the one of a jungle paradise. Flew across a galaxy.